In this video, we'll be doing 8 integrals that involves tangent and secant. Of course, they are best friends when we are talking about integrals and derivatives, so we will talk about them together in this video. The first one is the integral of tangent to a third power x. Well, we can actually write this in terms of sine and cosine, but remember, this video is all about tangent and secant. So, if possible, let's stick with tangent and secant only. The way to do this is that we can actually just break this apart as, let's write this down as tangent x, and then we have tangent square x dx. Here, we have tangent square x, which we can use the identity, and we can just rewrite this as tangent x times secant square x minus 1. And this is actually great, because when we multiply in, we can look at the integral of tangent x times secant square x, and then minus tangent x dx. Can we do this? Yes, we can just do u sub, let u equal tangent x, and then that will pretty much it, because we have the secant, x, secant square x right here to help us out. So you can go ahead and try that, I'm going to leave that to you. The answer for the first one is 1 half, and then the u is tangent, so I'll just write that down right here. To the second power though, so put that down right here. Okay, and for the second one, which was minus, and remember this is just a standard integral, which is going to give us ln absolute value of secant x. That will be it. That's the first one. Now for the second question, we have secant to the 6 power x. So again, let's kind of just break it apart. But we are going to break it down in terms of secant to the 4th power times secant to the 2nd power because we have a nice identity whenever we see secant squared, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Here, this is secant to the 4th power x times secant square x. Good. And now, hopefully we can get this in terms of tangent because we have a secant squared right here already. Can we make that happen? Yes. Because first, let's look at the secant to the 4th power s, secant square x, and then square, and of course we still have the secant square x right here. This guy, we are going to replace it with tangent square plus 1. Now this though, we just need to do this right here. So we're looking at the integral, and this is tangent square x plus 1 to the second power, and then here we have the secant square x dx. So that's kind of how you break it apart, and you make the change whenever we need to. So we are still following our strategies. Now we can do a u sub. For this one, I will work it out for you guys. Let u equal tangent x, and then you see du is just equal to secant square x dx, which is this part right here. Therefore, we can see this is just the integral. This is the u, but to the second power, and then plus 1, and then we have to square that. And for the rest right here, this is just going to give us the du for that, which is very nice. And now to integrate this, we'll just open this right here, which is going to be integral, and then we multiply this out, we get u to the fourth power plus 2 times this and that, which is 2u squared, and then plus 1 squared, which is just 1 in the u world. Okay, so here is the actual integration. <laughs> Integrating this, we get 1 over 5, u to the fifth power. Well, u is tangent x, so we'll just write that down right here. And don't forget, we still have that fifth power. Next one, we will have to add one two third because we have the two right here. And then u again is tangent x, and then here we have that to the third power. Last one, we integrate one in the u world, which is going to give us u, and u is tangent x. So we will add tangent x. That's it. So we're all done. Put a plus c. This right here is the answer. Number 3, the integral of tangent square times secant 6. Number 3, the integral of tangent square x times secant to the 6th power x. So this is very similar to what we did earlier. Let's go ahead and just use the same strategy. We are going to break this apart. So let's go ahead and look at this as integral tangent square x right here. And we are going to write it as secant to the 4th power, but you know what I did earlier. So I'm going to change it to secant square x and then square, and lastly, we still have that secant square x dx. Double check, this is still secant to the 6th power x. Now, 
change this in terms of tangent so we get this is going to be integral tangent square x and this is tangent square x plus 1 square and then this right here is still secant square x dx now u sub time right let u equal tangent x du is secant square x dx all right so that's pretty much it so we can just continue here is the integral and we have u square times u square and this one is just a little bit more algebra that's all plus one and then we square that and lastly this part is just the du all right so here when we multiply this out we get u to the fourth power plus two u square plus one and then of course we will just multiply this inside of the parentheses so we get the integral and we have u to the sixth power plus 2u to the fourth power plus u to the second power du yeah just very similar to what we did earlier so finally we can integrate and all that stuff so here the first one is 1 over 7 u is tangent so let's just go ahead and write that down tangent x and then we have the 7 next one plus 2 over 5 right add 1 and then that's the 5 and we have the tangent x to the fifth power right here and lastly we have the one third and then tangent third power and then x and we're all done that's it put a plus c that will do it number four we have the integral of tangent x times secant to a third power x you see that both of them are to the odd number power so in this case it would be a better idea to save a secant x tangent x factor and then just work with the secant substitution let me show you what i mean by that first we have the integral and uh, let me write this down first and i'm going to break it apart as secant square x and then here we have a secant x so this will give us secant to the third power x then i will put down the tangent x you see i'm saving secant x tangent x this right here is nicely enough in terms of secant x already so right here we can actually just go ahead and do a u sub check this out let u equal secant x du is just going to be all tossed up secant x tangent x dx so we are just integrating u square in the u world and the answer for that is just 1 over 3 u to the third power which is secant third power and then x yep just like this we are all done put a plus c this is it okay for number five yes <laughs> earlier we had the three right here now the three is right here right so take a look integral of tangent to a third power x times secant to the first power x so again let's try to save a secant x tangent x factor and try to see if we can convert this into a um, situation that we can just do secant substitution have a look so i'm going to write this down as tangent square x and then let me just write down secant x right here first and then i need one more so i'll just put that down right here that's good okay but this right here it's not in terms of secant yet it's okay because we do have a very nice identity namely secant square x minus one yep and then of course we have the rest secant x times tangent x and also the dx so we can again do the substitution that u equal secant x and then we will see that du is just equal to secant x tangent x dx very nice huh? so this right here is just going to be integrating u square and then minus one and we are in the u world like so okay integrating u square we get one third and then we have u which is secant and then that's to a third power and then we have the x and then integrating one in the u world we get u which is secant and that's a minus so we have to minus secant x just like that and then we're all done put plus c this right here you see it do you remember how to integrate just secant x hopefully you do all right but this one man is the integral one over secant x so what should we do 
it's actually not bad at all. It's actually really easy because secant is 1 over cosine. And when we have 1 over secant, this right here is just equal to cosine x. Yeah, so this right here is just that. And then integrating cosine x, we just get sine x. And then we are done. That's it. Now for number 7, we'll be integrating secant x plus tangent x inside of a parentheses and then raise that to the second power. Well, it's a good idea to just multiply this out. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we have the integral. So first we'll have this thing squared, which is secant squared x. And then we add 2 times this and that. So we'll have 2 secant x tangent x. And then lastly, we have the tangent squared x. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, let's see. Can we integrate this? Yes. Can we integrate this? Also, yes. How about this guy? Yes. And we just have to change it a little bit because tangent square x is just nicely equal to secant square x minus 1. So have a look. When we integrate this, we get tangent x. When we integrate secant x tangent x, we get secant. But here we have a 2. So I'll put down plus 2 secant x. When we integrate this secant square x, we get tangent. And lastly, when we integrate the minus 1, we get x. So we have minus x. All right, that's pretty much it. And of course, in the end, we'll just combine these two tangent x together. So here we are looking at 2 tangent x plus 2 secant x. And lastly, we minus the x. And that's it. Put on a plus c. This is it. For number 8, we have the integral of secant to the third power x. And for this, we actually have to use the integration by parts. Check this out. First, we break this down as secant x times secant square x. And let me just tell you, do not replace the secant square x with tangent square x plus 1. That's not going to get us anywhere. We actually have to squeeze out, well, a part of the answer first. And to do so, check this out. Can we just integrate this part? Yes. And can we differentiate that? Yes. So that's a hint of doing integration by parts. So let's put that down on the side. We have the d and also the i plus minus to get ready. All right. Differentiating secant x and integrating secant square x. Do this right here. We just get tangent x and that's very easy to do. And then if we differentiate that, we get secant x times tangent x. And we can always differentiate this, right? Good. Now, this times this, that's the first part of the answer. So we are looking at secant x times tangent x. And next, we are going to multiply these two things together. And then this is a minus, and we have to put them inside of an integral. Secant x, and then tangent x times tangent x, that will give us tangent square x. So let's write that down here. Okay, now notice that the first part right here doesn't have integral. So that's the key because that's you know, one part of the answer already. We have to take care of this. And to do so, we actually will just use the trig identity right here. Not here though, again, not here, but here. Tangent square x is the same as secant square x minus one. So now we are going to kind of just break this apart. Check this out. The first part stays, we still have secant x times tangent x, and then we will have to minus the integral, and then secant x times secant square x, that gives us secant to the third power x. And let me just close this integral first, because next, we will distribute this times that. Negative times this negative, we will get a plus right here, and then integral, and then we will just have secant x times 1, which is just a secant x. And now check this out. Can we do this? Yes. And what's this? This is exactly what we have originally. So you see, this is actually a repeating situation. It's a very different style. So I would say this is a pretty difficult question. If you're on a harder one, change the 3 to a 5. That would be hard too. When you have secant to the even power, that's actually much easier. When you have secant to the up number, it's a, yeah, integration by parts. All right, so let me just write down what we have exactly. And whenever we have a repeating situation, Let's just write this down in the same line and let's just write everything down again so that we can move this to the other side. So check this out. We're not done yet. We're just rewriting this right here. We are looking at the integral of secant to the third power x dx. First, that will give us that, which is secant x times tangent x. 
and then minus the integral of secant to the third power x dx and then lastly this part we know the answer already so let's just write that down right what's the answer for this the standard result natural log of absolute value of secant x plus tangent x all right so now repeating situation we just add this integral on both sides so add secant third power integral for this and then just go ahead and do that on the left hand side as well so that this and that cancel nicely and we are looking at 2 times the integral of secant to the third power x dx and then we have this plus that so we just write that down so secant x times tangent x plus ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x we have a 2 right here, so let's just go ahead and multiply everybody by 1 half. So go ahead and do that right here, right here, and then right here. So then they cancel. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the integral of secant to the third power x dx, this right here is 1 half secant x tangent x plus 1 half ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x. It might seem to be a long question, it's just because we are writing down the same thing over and over again, things like that. Otherwise, uh, it's not so bad, right? The trick is, notice to use integration by parts right here, right? And then, we will have our answer right here. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you just need more help, you guys can check out my other video for more calculus video. And as always, that's it.